Man, this is amazing. It's an old, uh, old auditorium that was repurposed. I was really drawn to the Brass Era because my grandfather collected Brass Era cars. When you tell someone that you're driving a car that's over 100 years old, most people, you know, you sound like Charlie Brown's teacher. They don't really have a picture in their mind of what you're talking about. This is a 1910 Pope made in Hartford, Connecticut. Wow. It's a, it's a limo, so if you're the driver, you sit out in the front. They've got the earpiece where they can give you directions. <laughs> hey, slow down. And, uh, and you're sitting in the back, you're sitting in a nice uh, bench seat while they're outside. Oh yeah, look at there. Oh. Hey, what are you doing there? <laughs> what? Hey! <laughs> what else we got? We got a 1930 Packard uh, Roadster over there. Got a 145 inch wheelbase. You know what's crazy is a lot of people don't know how fast these cars work. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the turn of the century, but some of these things were doing like 100 miles an hour, right? That loser over there is capable uh, of high speeds at 60 miles an hour when you shift high gear. Oh. And one of them was timed at over 100 miles an hour in 1910. That's and, crazy. And that very car was raced till 1918. Wow. This car was made within six months of that loser, and it's a 20 mile an hour car, and it's made to look like a horseless carriage. It's, it's what they call a high wheeler. An international harvester made that where they could attract people who were having trouble giving up the buggy, even though they're made at the same time. But 20 miles an hour, Alan, that's scary. I bet. <laughs> well, let's check outside. Jeff, this barn is amazing. I mean, yeah. look at this place. It, it collects a lot of junk. Wow, look at all these Magneos, old saws, the old Model A over here. All kinds of goodies. Whoa, hello. That's our garden tractor there. <laughs> Man, look at this wheel. Look at that. It's like six feet. It would hurt your toe to run over. That is crazy. What in the world? We've been doing a few props for uh, the movie industry, so we've ended up with a few more things than we usually have out here. This is a cool old tractor. Yeah, it's a 1924 Fordson, and uh, we actually, this is the first thing that we had in a motion picture, and to have, uh, have some photos of Bill Murray driving it around. Oh, that's cool. You know, if you need any extra drivers in these films, I am dressed and ready to go. We'll have to get you out here and see how you do, and, and we'll take one first spin. Yes! I can drive a stick, too. Well, that, that's required. <laughs> All right, here we go. You coming? Sure. I think you're probably better. Is that safe? I think you want to babysit me. <laughs> yes. Advance back. Got an e-brake. Got it. Go. There we go. Come on, baby. Okay. You got it. Come on. Thank you. 60 miles an hour in a brass air car is uh, is pretty accelerating, you know, because of the noise, the sounds. It's not like riding 100 miles an hour in a sports car. You know, it's the first time I've ever driven one of these. When you put that thing in gear, there's a huge motor up front. And you gotta think, the guy that you just ran by had a horse. Seriously, he had a horse. Oh yeah, all right kids. Now we got, moving into the late model era, 1930 Packard. It's called a Roadster, for you kids that don't know. A Roadster has no side windows that roll up and down. Long wheelbase. But we're gonna stay off the road. We're gonna hit some gravel roads and so oh, 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 oh lordy. So Here we go. go. Off-roading right. in the Packard. <laughs> we're going in. Woo! Here we go. Man, this thing drives like a champ. Oh yeah, this is a modern car. It was a uh, top of the line for Packard in 1930. Here we go. You got it. You got it. Oh, hey. no practice. Oh, oh. I think you missed one. It's going to end up in the creek. That's all we got. Oh boy. This is awesome. Woo! Pasture driving in a Packard. <laughs> Backyard rodeo! Oh, I gotta tend the crops, guys! Well, I think it's a good experience. Brian likes cars, and I think it's a unique piece of the history. I mean, not a lot of people understand that these cars still exist and they can get out and drive them. Uh, it's just another day at Jeff Chadden's house, spinning laps in the dirt with Packards. Oh, that was awesome. What a fun day. You got some great cars. And, uh, you know, it just reminds me, like, thinking about, you know, getting to do new experiences, going fast cars. 
Uh, one of my good friends, Jesse Combs, she passed away the day before we were filming this. And, uh, you know, I just kind of want to do a shout out to her, pushing boundaries, trying to go fast. And, you know, happy sunset, Jesse. We're all going to miss you.